the worst kept secret in gaming history has officially been confirmed by Xbox along with price, features and a release date. Welcome everybody and thank you for joining me. So yesterday I made a video covering the leak from Brad Sams that showed us the official image of the Xbox Series S. At the time of making that video we did not yet have an official announcement from Xbox themselves but they have now come out with an official reveal and gave us all the information we have been asking for so I just wanted to make a quick video update everyone. This video will pretty much just tie into yesterday's video with a bit of extra information that has now been confirmed. So let's just start off with the features. First of all this will be the smallest console ever, nearly 60% smaller than the Xbox Series X, although in terms of height it is not much of a difference. It will have a custom NVMe SSD powered by Xbox Velocity architecture that will result in incredibly fast loading times and seamless game switching. As expected it will be an all digital gaming experience just like the Xbox One S. It will support full 1440p resolution with frame rates all the way up to 120 fps per second and that is great to see I thought it will only go as high as 60 frames. Then the Series S will in fact have ray tracing as expected along with variable rate shading and variable refresh rates, ultra low latency and an SSD that will be 5 512 gigabytes. Now obviously that is small with how big games are now you will be able to download 5 AA games max so if you do budget for this console please just remember to factor in an external storage device if you do not already own one because you will definitely be needing one for sure. Then the Series S will support 4K streaming media playback and 4K upscaling for games if you have a 4K TV much like the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox one X. So why bother with this console if the Xbox One X is already there? Well pretty much for the reasons that I stated above. The output levels of these consoles might be more or less the same but the Xbox Series S is a far more capable console. First of all it will be considerably faster because of the SSD and Xbox Velocity architecture but it will also support ray tracing. Most importantly future proofing. The Xbox One X is already discontinued and will have support for up to two more years and then it is over, the Xbox Series S can play Xbox Series X games so you will be covered. Now let's talk about pricing, it will be $299 US with a $25 per month Xbox All Access financing option which Microsoft is planning to push hard via various retailers and a large global rollout. Now this is according to Windows Central, so the Xbox All Access option is something Microsoft Microsoft has been piloting for a bit but it looks like Microsoft will be much more aggressive with this option for both consoles next generation. Now I would like to know how the $25 or the $35 for the Xbox Series X will work, for how long will you have to pay it, will it be for 24 months with like a cell phone contract. Now the all access means Xbox Game Pass Ultimate included but again we still need to know over how many months you have to pay that off, if Xbox did announce that in information I apologize but I did not see it anywhere. Then finally the release date will be 10 November. So that pretty much wraps up everything after all this time we have the information and it feels like it has been a crazy road just to get to this point. The soon to be current generation has by far been the craziest in terms of reveal but we have the information now 60 days before the official reveal. On that note this is where I'm going to end it. So if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like button. If you would like to see more videos like this please consider subscribing and as always please remember to stay safe, wash your hands, don't touch your face and I hope to see you again soon.